How's it going? This is Golrolf, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker, Varnhold's Lot. So we are at the tomb's threshold now. Oh, okay. Listen to me, everyone. We've come here for the sake of Varnhold and our future. It's essential that we find out whose tomb this is and what's going on inside. I dread to think what might happen if we fail. The ground might burn up right beneath our feet and dead cyclops rise from the graves. Maybe the centaur's grim prophecies have it just about right. I wouldn't mind talking to their warrior priestess. She might know more about these demon worshippers. And if they don't talk, we won't have any choice but to fight our way to the tomb. Any questions? Um... So why wait for reinforcements, or we're good? I think we're good. I think Varnold's probably got enough worries <laughs> just holding its own. Let's go. I've already buffed up just when, just when we arrived. Guys, <laughs> I'm expecting combat. Look at that. Yes. Um, I'd like to just focus on the cultists, but it looks like the centaurs are going to be hostile too. Right. Well, I guess all two legs are bad, so here we are. Uh, okay, let's just do the last buffs. Um, no usable spell slots. It says one. There, we can do that then. And... A little bit more haze. Do, 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 do. What else was there? Now we should be good. Oh, and shield for you as well. Alright, let's go. Of course, that does mean Nagar's gonna run in first. Yeah, fighting the centaurs as well. These archers. Doesn't seem too bad so far. Faye's taking a bit of damage. Okay. Let's group up and. Our duty calls. Let's just. Hmm. Use a little bit of magic. And then. Just drink a. Yeah, whoops. Could have done that a little differently. Just drink a potion. We have a few. Uh, I should probably need a second one. Yeah, one more just for good measure. There you go. And we'll just top you up with a new potion. There we go. Okay. Okay, a little bit of loot. Yeah, we'll take the longbows. I'm hoping we head back to town soon. Oh, breastplate's magical. Daggers are nice because they're light. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't like leaving loot that's so valuable, but, um, yeah. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Ramparts and stuff. Well, let's see if we can talk to... be nice if we could talk to the centaurs and convince them that we're friends. And we're not part of the cultists. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I'll make Any other buffs we want to do while we're here? Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, how many of them are there here? Quite a few. Might need something a bit more substantial. Uh, uh, yeah, or at least let's focus a little bit on these guys. Oh yeah, start singing. <laughs> oh, trap, okay. Tegan's, or Tegan's taking a bit of damage. Oh, and Faye. Alright, well. 
Not bad, but let's do a channel this time. A few people down. And yeah, let's do one more. Okay, you guys could just. Of waiting. Um, let's get a few. I tire of waiting. Let's use the um, potions of cure light. Adventures await. Good enough. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, it is a little too bad that we're need to kill so many of these guys. Oh, that's only worth. That's only three pounds. Uh, hide armor. Oops. Okay. Well, maybe we will take a look around at some of the other loot. Yes, it definitely would be nice to be able to sell off this stuff. Because <laughs> just... What is our encumbrance right now? Um, inventory. Oh, we've got lots of room. Okay. All right. Well, let's take some more stuff then. Let's see here. Take that. Anything that's kind of 100 gold is usually... That's my sticking point. Ah, uh, yeah. 50 gold. Sure. Nope. Oh. Rations. Found some diamond dust. Not bad. Be nice to get some actual diamonds so we can uh, use resurrection spells. I think we've got access to that now. Should just check breastplate plus one. Here, full plate plus one. I don't have a whole lot of needs for armor. Um, Elastithuge, can't. Light, and uh, no armor. Okay. Good stuff. I think everyone's got rings of protection. At least plus one, so that's fine. And these are just masterwork daggers, so no upgrades there. Okay. Let's, let's get this trap. Oh, nice. Cloak of resistance plus two and a punching dagger. What's your cloak? You don't have a cloak. There you go. Let's give it to Megar, because, uh, Need to keep you alive. The punching dagger. Um, well, maybe he could use that. Corrosive punching dagger. Um, although I think you're... Where are we at? Weapon finesse. Yeah, weapon focus short sword, so we'll leave it. You're probably going to be better with the short swords. What else we got here? Something? Anything? And some decent loot here. Yeah, okay. Let me just... Consumables and stuff, but that's nice. Nice our bones, sure. Right. Uh, special hops. <laughs> okay. That should be good enough. Right? Yeah. Okay, where do we go? Oh, this is the end of the camp. Any of this stuff interesting? Oh yeah, look at that. Shield of Faith. Take that stuff. Oh wait, those special hops were light. Yes, they're very light. We'll take it. As long as it doesn't encumber us too much. Okay. Well, I guess carry on. Um, yeah, some of our buffs are running. Oh, here we go. Again, wish that... Um, you know what I'm going to do? Let's hold. Let's just fireball the area. That should get... most of them. And once we cast... Boom! Okay. Oh, I think that hit the centaurs more than it hit the cultists. Uh, someone get the Necromancer before he starts casting again. Are you blinded? Blind. Uh, do we have any cure blindness on us? 
Or they learn from yours. Hmm, I might not. It's no good. Is there a potion to remove blindness? I don't remember. This aspect of the falcon. All these are clerics. Was. Hmm. You can cast it, right? Let's see. Where is that? Remove blindness. Yes, you just don't. Um, yeah. I uh, probably didn't need to do that right now, but at least this way we won't forget. Okay. Yeah, because that uh, used up the uh, spell slot for the other spell we had there. Oh well. Sure, it'll be fine. That one's going to cast lots of. Magic on us. <laughs> oh, potion to remove blindness. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now we just wasted that spell for absolutely no reason. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is he? Remove blindness. Hooray. There you go. And you're a little injured, but not too bad. Actually, so let's use another one of these. There we are. And you should be good. Good enough. Anything else around here? Oh yeah, there's a something. Some loot. Oh, it's just a sack, so it's probably... Oh, no. 200 gold. Nice. Okay. Sometimes it's just herbs and consumables and whatnot. Did we f look at the sky? No, but didn't really miss anything. Hmm. Oh, that looks blocked. Yeah, probably by the centaurs. Okay. Let's head over this way. Uh, maybe let's go for the lookout over here. Let's save first before we go. Interesting along here. Nice little ledge lookout. Surprised there wasn't anyone sniping at us from up here. Oh, there's some cultists dead. Okay. And okay, more loots. Alright, well, looks like this is the way we're going to need to go. Probably gonna be more combat. Yes. Oh, uh, I thought I got it in time, but I guess not. Let's just refresh things. Just blur on your cell. Oh, mirror image. Yep, let's do that. Bless on everyone. That'll be that. Uh, Megar, do you mind coming back here? I know you don't have anything to cast, but, um, yeah. <laughs> don't need you running ahead to get killed. Hello, we come in peace. Can it be the end? Ah! Uh-oh, okay. Let's, um, let's get a few more things done here. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, got that one. Okay. Take down the next bowman and see if we can get Faye back up. Oh. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, and we all leveled up as well. Huh. Well. I think we should level up. Let's just uh, heal a moment. We'll still get some spell, uh, some, sp not some spells, but we'll get some hit points back from leveling. But, um, yeah, let's just level up here. Not gonna be able to rest and regain spells, but as long as we don't change it up too much. Okay, so level everyone up. Just a little bit of healing there. 
Should be good to go. Let's just loot. And see what else we can face here. <laughs> oh, another magical breastplate. Nice. Good stuff. Plus one breastplate. That's not like anyone's really using it. Um, let's head off. Let's clear off this way first to the right and see what. Um, see what. Oh, Akora! Hello! It you're the leader! Done. Oh, here we go. Yes, stop fighting us! <laughs> We're not here to kill you, really. In the name of Mother Moon, what are you doing here? You would ruin yourselves and my tribe, strangers. Lady Akora, I presume? I am Baron Megarvarn, ruler of Varnhold. Sky is my witness. I do not want your people to fight my people. Blood has been shed. But we do not need to keep shedding it. All we want is to protect our homes from the attacks of the dead Cyclops. And to do that, I need to deal with the tomb. Deal with the tomb? And I must take your word for this, Baron Varn. Trust you, and lift the guard that the Nobman tribe has stood for thousands of years. I should allow you to approach the thing that mortal hands must never touch. We must listen to them. These two like it saved me from a monster that attacked from up through the ground. They're not our enemies. Conversation ends abruptly and tense silence hangs in the air. Um Dress a Cora. Tell us what you guard. Uh I wanna ask them that, but we're gonna I'm guessing we're gonna need to gain their their trust first. Um just pieces just as one they want to do or a diplomacy check to force the issue a little bit more uh, I think we're gonna go with this let's try the peaceful approach initially Megar we don't need to fight Akara's tribe they want peace for this land just as we do you want peace but how do you know we are prepared to offer it I still don't see why I should allow you inside the tomb because there are so few of us left, there are less than a dozen like me in our tribe. One way or another, our generation will be the last to stand guard. Everyone knows this, but no one wants to say it out loud. Please, mistress, for the mother moon, let the two-legged inside the tomb. There's no point in guarding the evil anymore. We can only hope to defeat it or die trying. Listen to me, Akora. The Cyclops have already awakened. They are already lurking in the area. That means their leader isn't sleeping as peacefully anymore. Um, okay, I don't really want to kill them. I mean, this is pretty much a guaranteed diplomacy check, but this is a really good one. Okay, instead of wasting our efforts fighting each other, we should join forces and go down to the tomb together. Yay, we succeeded. Good. Reason prevails. If we do go with you, we will be able to see whether you go to seize the evil demonic magic or fight the evil that is locked inside. That seems more reasonable than attacking you here and now. Please, Akora, listen to my commander. If there's anyone in the world who can lead us against an ancient evil, it is Megar Varn. I am no sage, but I've learned one thing in my life. If a horrible danger is hiding in your cellar, the stupidest thing you can do is sit on the door and hope it never goes out. I know a thousand beautiful songs from the old times, a thousand more prayers and incantations, but this is the first time I sense so much force in such simple and unsophisticated words. Alright, Baron Varn, we will follow you into the darkness, if that is what we must do. But first, we will clear the land of what remains of these demon worshippers. Uh... Oh, hi! <laughs> there's one guy here. Oh, there's a couple more, okay. Oh, and they've just appeared out of nowhere right in the midst of us? Okay. Makes sense, why not? Uh, necromancer, warrior, not really. Brawler, okay. So, let's have... 
the Leopard and Zyven. Tie that one up. And actually, let's start singing. Seafoal. Yeah, you can probably get to the Necromancer fast enough. We can do it! Faster than the rest of us. We can do it! And you're singing. Hey. Right. Good. Slowed Seafoal? Nice. Wow. Uh, nice. <laughs> Centaurs with big help that time. It is done. More needless carnage for a noble cause. Maybe we should have made some use of the carnage and turn our swords against those who deserved it. Instead of siding with the humble fools who would be easy for us to control, you allied us with a wild horde, ready to leap to savagery over thousand-year-old tales. You had better be ready when your centaurs strike us in the back when we go down into the tomb. I don't have the strength to argue with you, my friend. I'll just say I'm willing to rely on those who have guarded these lands from threats to the best of their abilities, even if it's just because of thousand-year-old tales. But I don't want to have anything to do with someone who has heard the same tales and just waited for the chance to grab power and, and bring people to their knees. I'm glad we got rid of that filth. <laughs> Isn't it time we figure out our plan and get moving? Let me dwell on this a little before the situation comes irreversible. Just think of it. A village who has for generations worshipped demons and their ancient treasure, and a centaur tribe standing vigilant guard for hundreds of years, all in this tiny piece of land. And now we have come to uncover these secrets, which have waited for us here a thousand years, and see what hid behind the legends. We are done singing someone else's songs, and are ready to make our own. Just to be clear, I must emphasize, I will hold the ritual, but the protective spell will not lift for a half a day. We shall need to set a guard and wait, and, of course, get some much-needed rest before we venture down into the tomb. I feel like a hero of prophecy, or a buffoonery. Well, best not waste time. Spell so unusual, not like demon force at all, or a very ancient one. Well, get out of my way, you silly door. <laughs> Doesn't lack for confidence, that's for sure. Okay, gain strength before the final dash, and Zyven has leveled up. Excellent. Okay, well, this is probably a good place to stop for now. I'm going to level up Zyven. And then next time we'll head into the tomb. Alright, well thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.